the Kimberley uh, uh, occupies a region which is two, two times the size of Victoria and across that are uh, a multitude of um, Aboriginal communities uh, um, and outstations with people living on country. Um, these are people uh, who, whose connection to country is central to their well-being um, but also people who often face an absence of government services, an absence of accountability from government in terms of the delivery of those services. And so across this vast region uh, there are deep needs um, and those needs relate to all aspects of um, civil law, criminal law certainly, but the Kimberley Community Legal Service is focused on um, civil law needs and building also through education a capacity to, to, to understand the many different um, areas that the law intersects with lives of people in the Kimberley. We were born in 2017 through a memorandum of understanding between the ANU College of Law and the Kimberley Community Legal Services, which is based in the Kimberley region in Western Australia. And together with the College of Law and KCLS, we facilitate a hot desk of student paralegals and interns here on the ANU campus, where we work together to deliver services to our clients in the Kimberley region. This program is about fulfilling ANU's mission in the area of reconciliation and the College of Law has always responded to that through means of legal education, making legal research available. This particular initiative takes legal services to some of the most vulnerable Australians in the remotest part of Australia. I was Principal Solicitor for about two and a half years and during that time we uh, received lots of students from lots of different tertiary institutions and they always uh, contributed immensely to the work of the lawyers and, and for the benefit of the clients there. Uh, the work they did was to, to conduct a whole lot of legal research that we weren't resourced to do and that was general research but also in relation to specific cases um, and in turn that really increased the capacity of the lawyers to service more and more clients both on a, an individual basis, but to address historic and more systemic issues as well. It has grown and evolved, and the most important thing is that it works. I'm hugely grateful to my colleague in the college, Judy Harrison, for that she has had courage of this. She has made it work. It has volunteers both at KCLS and here at, uh, at ANU itself. It runs as a, as a hot desk system through Skype, taking the best of technology and making it work and actually delivering. We get a wide variety of client matters that come through um, our services here, um, which is an exciting part of working with the Community Legal Centre, is you never really know what kind of task you're going to get. So we could get anything from a contract matter to family law disputes. Um, so it's quite varied in the client work that we do. We also look a bit at our research tasks and we look at reform areas. So that either comes off of client tasks that we've worked in the past. So we notice that we're getting repeat clients in certain areas. We'll look more into research areas. Um, we'll also look into reform areas and seeing if we can contribute to some law reform submissions. Of course the project was go going to always be successful. Number one, because there's such an unmet need for legal services in the Kimberley uh, and the, the students and people who assist in the hot desk, um, their, their services are so valuable to, to the lawyers and the community. Um, secondly, there are very few opportunities for students to get real real world experience during their undergraduate degree um, and I would encourage all students to, to really seek out those opportunities because it's going to make them more employable and, and better lawyers quicker than had they not had a clinical experience. This model inverts the process whereby students at the ANU are actually working to the concerns of people on country in the Kimberley. Uh, and so there is a back office here uh, which um, provides direct legal services to people in the Kimberley um, through the Kimberley Community Legal Service. Uh, in a sense that's an inversion of the priorities, taking the priorities uh, as being given by uh, that region and the people of that region rather than being the priorities of the centre being the ANU or Canberra.